Okay, hello, Super Genius Ep here, and welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode. What is going on with these Endermen? Like, I paused the game, and all these particles are appearing, and they're not disappearing. It's like, <laughs> it's getting surrounded in, like, boxes of particles. Okay, right. Okay, there they go. Um, right. Need to, need to walk carefully. And not look at the Enderman. Well done, Lucas. <coughs> <laughs> Thanks. And you too, Jesse. Thanks for giving me a shot. Mm. Well, there's the exit portal. So there's our way out. Until something comes along and randomly destroys it. <laughs> Let's go. That someday I love something as much as Soren seems to love stairs. Uh, Jesse, if we could just slow down for a moment. Doesn't have to be for very long. Need a hand? Me? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> really, I, I'm fine. <coughs> I, I apologize. That's all I needed. We can keep moving. Mm. <sighs> a lot of so stairs. Stairs. There's a ladder. Oh, good. Better not be a long one. <laughs> so to put a minecart elevator here. Jesse, I believe this honor belongs to you. Here goes. Do, 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 do. Climb up a ladder. A ladder. Do, 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 do. What? Huh? What do you see? Please don't say more stairs. I think I must be seeing things. It's like another world up here. A brand new, totally unspoiled world. Ah, so bright. Uh... That's... Weird, um... Ah! <laughs> That's my body, Axel. My broken, battered Give body. A second. The ground is almost... What in the... It's made of wool! This tree, the grass, it's... It's all wool. You're telling me Except that we've been resting all our hopes on this guy, and the whole time he's been building some totally artificial happy land? Well, it's real wool. Could it be that he just missed home? If you miss home, you go and visit. You don't build an exact replica. We came here for nothing. What are we even supposed to do now? Hey, Lucas, you okay, man? Just look around, Jesse. If the greatest builder of all time has spent years working on this, what are the chances he's even going to have that bomb, huh? I've had enough crazy for one day. Is he going to be okay? He seems pretty upset. Perhaps he's allergic to wool. Hmm. I don't know what's eating him. You know what? I don't think this is just some random wool playground. And you are sick, mister. Gabriel, hey!
You doing okay? Besides the fact that I'm dying slowly, pitifully wasting away, my circumstances growing more dire with every passing second? Yeah, that. Fine, all things considered. Okay. Any idea why Soren would build something like this? Soren was always strange, secretive. So... If I were you, I'd be looking for a secret door. And the secret mechanism to open said door. Hmm. How do you think Soren managed to get out of here without leaving any clues behind? Master Builder. Very secretive. I guess I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Thought you could trick me, huh, fake son? Well, it's not gonna work. What's up, Jesse? Either of you guys know what's eating Lucas? Well, as a longtime observer of human behavior... We have no idea. Try, you know, talking to him. Hmm. Found anything interesting? Just that button. Doesn't really seem to do anything, though. I'm gonna keep poking around. Right. Sir, it doesn't do anything. Huh, it didn't do anything. No, that totally did something. I, I'm gonna talk to you, uh, Lucas first. Cause I know that that lever on that tree <laughs> hopefully does something. What do you want? What's your problem, Lucas? Listen, I know I've been prickly, okay? But, Jesse, I think something's wrong with Gabriel. I mean, you have to have noticed the lack of energy, the labored breathing. I, I wish I could tell you, but I'm not supposed to talk about it. Wait, talk about what? Jesse, if I'm right about this, you have to tell me. It's not fooling anybody. At least not me. Look, Lucas, Gabriel's sick. How long have you known? A while, but he asked me not to say anything. The wither infected him with something. So everything I was worried about is true. This is my fault, Jesse. Gabriel's wither sickness, it's because of me. There's no way this is because of you. If I hadn't choked, you would have been able to pull Gabriel out of that tractor beam sooner. For all we know, Gabriel didn't get sick until way after that. Maybe you're right. If one of our best fighters is sick, do we even stand a chance anymore? And not like we haven't dealt with some grade A problems before, but... I just can't help feeling kind of... hopeless. If we stick together, we can do anything. Even something that feels impossible. It just feels... extra impossible now. Then we stick together extra hard. Okay. I kind of wish Gabriel would tell everybody. It would just make things... easier. Hmm. 
Well, at least that's not made of wool. Must be all sorts of hidden water systems in this place. Hey, Jesse. How are you holding up? I'm not the one you need to worry about. Uh, I kind of need to get at that lever you're blocking. Okay, at least one more thing. Thanks. Yep. There's anything over here. Nothing there. Um. <laughs> Lucas knows something. How much of something? He sees you're not feeling well. I'm trying to keep up, but alas, I grow weaker by the hour. I'll be back. I'll be here. The lever, gonna pull it now. Neat! Hmm. Hello, Ruben. You like that, don't you, boy? There you go. Okay. I think now if I press the button, something will happen. Push the button! Oh, okay. That's... weird. Hmm... Hey everyone, I think I found Soren's way out! Way to go, Jesse! I wish I could have been of more assistance. When I think back to my glory days, I was so strong, so capable. Just go inside with the others. At least you can depend on me for that, right? Mm. We'll see what we can find in the rest of the house. I just hope we don't discover Soren as he's getting ready for bed. He always wore the most revealing bathrobes. What kind of stairs are these? You could fit hundreds of people in here, but it doesn't look like it's being used for much of anything. Why would he build this? Hmm. Is that a music? Hmm. Well, the music's louder, but I don't hear anyone talking in there. 
Let's see what's going on behind this door. A new composition to celebrate my newest discovery. That's him! This time, I observed Soren. I place a block on top of another block. What the? <laughs> Rudimentary, yes, it's but just a recording. A of undeniable intelligence. <laughs> I hope I'm not imagining things. <laughs> After all that, <laughs> he's not even here? <laughs> I, 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 I better eat something. I'm positively light-headed with excitement. We came all this way, and for what? Well, this record didn't turn on by itself. Oh, huh, good point. I guess he really likes the sound of his own voice then. Maybe there's something useful well, on this record. Our next step we can figure out what he's whether talking they might be about. Able to be persuaded to build collaboratively. I've worked up a simple set of building instructions to inspire them. I will disguise myself and hide among them in order to observe them more closely. Huh. Oh, hide among them. Hide among who? The Interman? Uh, Jesse? Do you think Soren is talking about... Them? Oh. Then again, everything else about this guy has been pointing to crazy. I guess everybody needs hobbies. Even if they are really, really, really dangerous. You think he's actually training Enderman to build stuff? I think he thinks he's training Endermen to build stuff. Let's look around, see what we could find out. Oh, interesting. Well, I guess... <laughs> look at that armor stand. <laughs> it's like Enderman sites. Olivia, check it out. An Enderman... suit? Either Soren's got a very unique fashion sense, or... Wait a second! Looks like a taller one was hanging there, but it's missing. Because Soren must be wearing it. This is the disguise he was talking about. You mean... In order to walk amongst the Endermen, you have to become an Enderman. Yeah, why not? I'll put it on. Could come in handy. Put on the gloves. And put on the helmet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> kind of stinky, but it fits. Ugh, more than kind of stinky, I'm sorry to say. It's so weird. I know it's you in there, but I still don't want to look at you. Hmm. Anyway, is there something in this chest? There's a chest here. You found something. What you got? It's definitely some sort of crafting recipe. But why would someone as brilliant as Soren need a recipe for a shape that simple? Because they're not for Soren. They're for the Endermen. This must be what he's trying to teach them to build. Huh. Okay, so. If Soren is using those blueprints to teach the Endermen to build, and there's a disguise missing from the stand. He must be conducting his experiment right now. Of course! The missing disguise is the one he had to put on before going outside. Which means if we want to get to Soren, oh, we have to go out there to do it. Well, anything in. Hey, records. Um, let's try this one. Calls of the Enderman. Ah, 
Oh. And finally, an Enderman love song. It's all just fascinating. Yes. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> Enderman Observations Part 27? I've been watching the Endermen up close today, and I'm convinced that I may have caught them communicating. Or, at the very least, two of them stood near each other for an extended period. It was very exciting. Then they wandered away. But it seemed deliberate. Maybe. I followed one of them for the next three hours. Here's what happened. Hmm. Totemic constructions of peaceful Endermen. Hmm. Could Endermen be implored to work together? Or are they like sheep and pigs, wandering randomly and doing things based on whim rather than higher thought processes? I've already decided that only Endermen at peace build structures. When agitated, such as yesterday, they don't seem to have any interest in building things, only hitting me with their fists, <laughs> repeatedly. Meanwhile, peaceful Endermen will move blocks from place to place, on and on, seemingly ad infinitum, until they somehow achieve satisfaction and teleport away. Clearly, this will require further detailed observation. I am so, so lonely. Huh. The folly of pumpkins? What? Wearing a pumpkin may stop the Enderman oh, from attacking right. me, but I remain convinced it is also altering their behavior, as if their preternatural knowledge of my presence keeps them from revealing their true natures. Therefore, I have now begun to fashion a camouflage suit that will allow me to mingle amongst these heretofore inscrutable creatures, and, like a fearless explorer burning his boats to the ground upon reaching the shores of a new land, my entire cache of pumpkins has now been baked, into delicious pies. Oh. Hmm. Let's look at the window. <gasps> hmm. Hey, wait a minute. Those instructions called for clay blocks, just like this one. And there's a whole bunch of them all over the place. There was six. I'll take this one too. Thing. So that's two. Where can we find the rest? Hmm. Oh, you know that's really creepy, right? <laughs> Huh? The Ender Suit. I keep wanting to not look at you. It's so disturbing. I'm sorry. You go ahead and build with those Endermen outside. I'll just wait here. Okie dokie. Which way is outside? I think it's this way. Do 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 do. More clay. That's three I've grabbed so far. Hmm. I think that's another one over there. I need six. Okay. Oh, there's a door here. This one too. That's five. Well, actually, I think this is a good place to end the episode, unless like the next <laughs> one is like only a couple minutes long. But uh, anyway, this has been Super Genius Seb, and I will see you again in the next video.
goodbye.